And it's certainly not what people were wanting to hear today. We did learn that not only is our case rate increasing, but the number of tests being given out, it's been slightly decreasing. So that did not help our total adjustment that the state released today. But we also got a clearer picture on the local level where Public Health Officer Wilma Wooten says some of our worst outbreaks and some of our biggest concerns are coming from. So the last six months have been a roller coaster. We're just trying to make it day by day right now. For stores like Whiskey and Leather in Del Mar, they've been forced to pivot since the pandemic began. But with the busiest shopping days right around the corner, purple tier restrictions could be detrimental. Thank you. What about the white one? The holidays for small businesses, retail especially, is uh, where we make a lot of our money. So I think that's my biggest fear. They're among thousands of businesses tonight wondering how they're going to keep their doors open long term. And if restaurants aren't at 50% or a bigger capacity, it's really hard for foot traffic to be here. And that's those are customers for us as well. So it's not just retail or me. It's it's a whole center that's really being affected. A snowball effect. That means come Saturday, things like restaurants and places of worship are exclusively outdoors. Retail stores have to drop capacity to 25 percent and school districts hoping to move out of distance learning must stay home for at least three more weeks. And we recognize that people are developing COVID-19 fatigue. People are just fed up and we understand that uh, we are, too, to be quite honest with you. And with our cases slowly rising, health leaders were asked to identify the reason behind the recent surge. Again, it boils down to behavior, but really we are seeing the um, cases in the 20 to 50 to 49 years of age. 58 percent of all of our cases are in that age group. The emphasis should be on there's no specific one thing that is driving this. It is really a community uh, spread across the board, but it is important to think about the places that are most commonly mentioned. They say the top two places of concern are spread at workplaces and household gatherings. We continue to communicate with the state uh, about looking at some other options so that uh, those businesses like restaurants are not um, punished. Saying that conversations are ongoing with the state to find a better way to slow the spread without businesses taking the brunt of the blame. And while we wait to hear about those plans, we also asked about enforcement measures. Dr. Wooten said that she has sent a letter to every single jurisdiction and law enforcement in the county asking them to start looking out come Saturday. We will have that three-day transitional period that we mentioned earlier in the show for businesses to adapt what they need to do to fall under the restrictive tier guidelines. But of course, this is not going to be easy for many businesses. Reporting here live in Kearney Mesa, Hunter Sowers, KUSI News.